Coach Howard here with Howard Elite Basketball. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to shoot better. Let's go! Alright, so today, I'm going to be showing you how to get your shot better. But before we get started, make sure you hit the like button. Also, make sure you subscribe. If you want to know anything talking about basketball, check my channel. I'm pretty sure I have a video. If I do not have a video, I will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, for what you have been waiting for, I'm about to show you how to get your shot better. Now, for all you guys out there, they got all the moves in the world, but you cannot hit a shot, okay? Your shot is broken. Come on, come on. But they're going in tonight, Nick Earl earlier, now ish. If you have that broken shot, you wanna come close to the phone or the computer and listen. Listen very clear, we're gonna teach you how to fix that broke jumper. Now the first thing that we're gonna talk about is feet. Feet are very important when it comes to shooting a good jumper, all right? One thing that you have to do is you have to make sure your feet are set up correctly. There are a few ways that you can have your feet and I'm gonna tell you the best ways that I would prefer. First thing first, I would like to have my feet staggered. So I would like to have my right foot in front of my left foot. That's my shooting hand foot. I like to have a little bit in front of my left foot because it aligns me better for the jump shot. Um, also, your feet tilt a little bit, but that is a natural thing that happens. Do not try to tilt yourself a certain way. It's gonna naturally happen. You're naturally gonna tilt yourself. You're not gonna have your toes directly aim directly at the rim. That's never really gonna happen unless you're really conscious of trying to point your feet right at the rim. So don't do that. Don't worry about tilting your feet. It will happen naturally. Next thing we're gonna talk about is elevation. Elevation is basically how high you jump off the ground when you are shooting a shot. Now, I love guys that jump really high, elevate on their shots. But what we have to understand about jumping really high on your shot is it is a little bit harder to stay consistent and shoot consistently when you're rising so high up on your shot. When I shoot, I try not to rise super high from the ground because I want to shoot the same exact way every single time. So when I shoot, I do jump, but it's just not an extremely high jump. So for you guys that are having troubles with your shot and you notice that you jump higher than everybody else when you're shooting, um, I would say probably tone it down how high you're jumping so that way you can stay consistent with your jump shot. Next, we're gonna talk about how we hold the ball. I like to hold the ball in the exact form that I'm about to shoot. So I like to have my weak hand or my guide hand directly on the side of the ball, and I like to have my shooting hand behind the ball, okay? It's, it's off to the right a little bit. It's not directly straight behind it. It's off to the right just a little bit. Then from there, we talk about our set point. Our set point is basically where we put the ball right before we release it, all right? It's, it's where we put the ball, where we set it at before we get into our full motion of the shot. Now, my set point is right above my eyebrows. I like the ball to come a little bit in front of my vision um, while I'm shooting. Some people say that's bad. You shouldn't have the ball come in front of your vision, but that's how I like to do it, and it works for me. Once again, everybody's shot will be unique. Everybody's, you know, different parts that I'm breaking down will be slightly different from the next person, but what's important that you know what exactly works for you and you do it the same exact way every single time. That's how you get your shot better. So like I was saying, my set point is right above the eyebrows, right before I get it all the way up, I set it right in my eyebrows and then I go up and release. Next thing we wanna talk about is the release point. Now, when you release the ball, you wanna release the ball at its highest point, all right? You don't wanna hang in the air too long and then shoot it on your way coming down, or you don't wanna shoot it on your way coming up. You wanna shoot it once it gets to that highest point that's called perfect timing. Like, I know when you play 2K and you get that green light, they are, they're talking about when you release the ball, you released it right on time, okay? So you don't wanna wait too long on the way down, and you don't wanna wait, release it too early. You gotta have that timing on point, all right? Release it at the top of your jump shot. Another important thing that you want to do is try not to involve your, your offhand thumb as much. I know you guys say Steph Curry uses his thumb, Kyrie Irving uses their thumb, but the amount that they use their thumb is very minimal in affecting that shot. I have a lot of kids that are just shooting and pushing the ball out with their thumb. Sometimes when they shoot, their guy hand is completely facing the rim just because they're putting their offhand thumb involved in the shot so much. So try your best not to involve that offhand thumb in the shot as much. And last but not least is the follow through. The follow through is extremely important. All of the kids that I train, they always say, coach, all you talk about is follow through, follow through, follow through. 
The reason why I tell kids to follow through so much, there's, there's a lot of different reasons. First off, when I'm training you, if you hold that follow through up, we can instantly see what you did wrong. Okay, if your guy hand wasn't straight, if your fingertips wasn't down, all of those things like that. So make sure you hold that follow through. Also, when you hold that follow through, you direct that ball right into the rim. So what I want you to do with your follow through on your shooting hand, your fingertips should be down and they should be like you're trying to put your hand in the rim. And then your off hand, your guide hand, it should be straight lined up on the side of that rim, guiding the ball directly into the rim. Um, the guy hand is kind of like when you're bowling and you're and you have bumpers up it basically just guides the ball directly down in a straight line and that's what exactly what you're doing with your shooting when you have that guide hand all right Coach out here, Howard Elite Basketball, I just taught you how to shoot the ball better. Remember, everybody's shot is gonna be a little different. The only thing that I broke down for you was different components to the shot. And then you adjust them the way that works best for you. Create your shot. You're in the lab just like uh, on 2K, you know what I mean? You customize your own jump shot. But the main important part about it all is that you shoot the ball the exact same way every single time and if you do that you will become more consistent all right don't just go in the gym and just keep just shooting the ball any kind of way make sure you think about those components that i taught you today and get better all right get more consistent go put up the reps coach howard here howard elite basketball make sure you like comment and subscribe let's go Shaking.